Oh, let's see there's no pedals here. We gotta get up, we gotta get up in there. Change this uh, heater, heater blower real quick. And uh, the pedals have to come out. Man, I'm trying to show you something. There's an extra screw on the top that a lot of people can't see. Day look at Thursday, ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. definitely hard to get out but I got it. It's four screws on that um, and then the connections. Um, you must loosen up this aluminum bracket. You, you must loosen it up at least. I didn't get to take it out completely because I don't really want to but um, you must loosen it up for sure in order to get this out. So just something to think about. Uh, you know just quick tips because they have videos already on this but uh Finally got it, you gotta put your hand up into that section and then twist left after you get the little uh, eight millimeter socket off. But it actually isn't that tight when I did it with my hands. I didn't really need this, which was uh, pretty useful. Now, and I also had to take out this bracket. Oh. Right, I also had to take out this bracket, even though I said a little while ago that you had to loosen it. It has to come out um, just because the the blower motor won't pass it anyways. Um, so, you know, and this is the old one. This is the old one, very dirty. Um, who knows what happened to this one exactly, all right? But now we're just putting everything back together and I'm gonna test it, make sure it works before I even go any further, right? This one got me extremely exhausted though, I ain't gonna lie. Extremely exhausted. I'm not gonna, just, I'm gonna turn the blow on. I hear it. Actually, I don't hear anything. So look, not even the blower motor, man. That sucks. At least I tried them now. Before going. This is an unfortunate situation, guys. So I had an extra control. Changed it. No blower. I don't even hear the fan doors, the vent doors moving. Um I test the old the old window motor. I mean window motor. I'm like, oh God. Sorry man. I test the old blower motor. And um, it works. And it's getting power. Fuses is good. So I'm kind of lost right now. I'm going to put everything back together. Um, knowing that it has a new blower motor. And um, go from there. Um, I know it's not the blower motor because the old one works. And it wasn't working when it was installed. Just like this one is. So it's a different problem. The only reason why I'm recording right now is to show you what this Nissan Rogue putting me into it's a see how my hand is I gotta push it in and then pull at a weird angle Jesus Christ just to get uh, pieces out man not easy at all I just wanted to give you a, there you go as much of an update as possible on this on this particular job Anything with that resistor, that blower motor, and this Rogue, you know, um, it's a, a crazy job. The only thing I see that's easy here would be like the heating, the heating coil. So let me show you, right here, boom. Now, it definitely seems easy with the camera. You see it right there, two screws. We're just gonna change that resistor, right? The blower motor is above, which I already changed, and this is my first time actually seeing it. Uh, it's in. I did it with my hands. Right? Well, not my hands, I'm saying. Like, I did it with my... Just with my brain feeling. I'm not really looking. And um, this is the resistor right here. So, what I did was I just took out the resistor at first, took out the plug, and then I plugged in the new resistor on the side of the pedal, which is right here. It's a little simple thing. But this is an electric component that basically... Uh, I guess uh, that shows he goes through here at a certain range, so it can let your fan go slow and fast. That's what the resistor does. 
So, my recommendation, you have to take out this brake pedal. You have to, guys. There's no way around it. If You're going to have a hard time. It's going to be even longer. This probably took me about 20 minutes to take out in total once you have all the tools. The only thing is a variety of different sizes. Okay. The variety of different sizes and then even the T20 for the end. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to replace this shirt in a second. Let's get it, man. It's fixed, y'all. The blower resistor, man. It wasn't even the blower, but it's fixed. <laughs> okay, it's out, guys. And as you can see, this is the original one from Nissan. You know, it's kind of dirty. And we're just going to replace it. All you got to do is just take out these little screws. Now, it's a slight spin. You spin it in nice and soft, and the job is done, y'all. One second. All right, y'all. Done. This is it. Finish. Pull right out. Uh, now, to put the pedal back on, uh, I do recommend pop this metal piece in first and then slide the pedal up. Uh, weirdly, it hangs on the top of it. So that's pretty much it, man. Job done. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, changing the resistor for your blower motor but uh they told they said that it's one and the same so i guess when you change the mo blower motor or whenever your fan stops working just change both and your problem will be solved man okay so we're done that's all that's all i was talking about see this right here my camera can't even get around this and you would have had to put your hand in here look practically impossible that's what i did so that's it. Now we just put the cover back on. Everything is stiff. Put the cover back on. Plastics on. And then uh, uh, we're done. And there you go, guys. Job done. Like I was never here. Uh, like I was never here.